Hello interwebs. I am back again. So if you notice my videos, it's been a lot of like moving around and whatnot. I haven't exactly figured out where exactly I'm gonna like keep filming my videos, but eventually you might find something. I think this might be a good setup for now. This might be a good place to just record my videos and whatnot. But um yeah, just gonna um, just gonna keep figuring out until you know we get something mixed. So today I figured I would just do a guitar lesson because why not? You know, I feel like I could talk a little bit or teach a little bit about guitar, so actually I gotta remember to breathe in these talking things. Um, I don't see a lot of videos on YouTube about rhythm guitar. I mean, I see a few, but it's mostly just lead guitar stuff. And so I figured, why not just do a rhythm guitar video? There's gotta be a market for that. I know some of you out there want to know how to do how to be good rhythm guitar players. So let's do that. So, turn on the mini amp. Got an EVH mini amp here. Let's see, this it sounds like shit, but it does a job. Okay, so. I'll give you guys a few um, tricks or tips or whatever to improve your rhythm playing. Or maybe, oh yeah, I'll like, give you a trick on how to like improve your rhythm playing and keep your timing down. And then I'll give you like um, I guess you call it chord shapes to um make your rhythm play more interesting. So the rhythm exercise is a I got it from Van Halen. I should say my teacher got from Van Halen and then he showed it to me. The way old teacher we like then. Anyway, it's a shuffle room. Basically, you're just gonna be playing the uh, A string and you're gonna time yourself, you know, timing yourself. So. Fuck, let me try that again. Basically it. Now all you gotta do is just accent the first note. So that's basically it. You don't really have to um, do much beyond that. You just keep doing that until you get it down to four times. You know. I'm not doing this very good. I gotta practice this more. Whatever, I'll figure it out later. So, as far as um things like make your make your rhythm play more interesting, the first thing is um the first thing is you know, make, is a uh, you know, is the blues thing you know. You know, most people don't really think about um, the blues riff as like, you know, not now nowadays, but I think it's a cool thing to do, you know. I mean, it's fun. It's catchy. And I like it a lot. And I think more people should use it. But yeah, you know, just basically all you have to do is take your, on my guitar, just take your, take the fifth fret on the E string. And the seventh fret on the A string. You hit that once, and then you take your pinky here, and play the ninth fret on the A string. So it's just if I can just um hold on. Basically, it's this, and then God damn, it, I'm really bad at this, but um. 
I don't know if that's good enough. Yeah, that might work. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically it. There's not much more to it. There's really not. You know, it just... You can count that too, actually. That's a good exercise for you too. Just, you know... Yeah, I mean, that's it, really. At least for the booster. The next... I'll say put I'll group them together. Next the next two the next two things. That we, yeah, we'll just do that. The next two things is actually I, I learned it from uh, Michael Schenker and uh, Mick Mars does this too. So if you know this um you know that inverted fifth, I think that's what they call it, I don't really know. But whatever the fuck that thing is, you know, where the two fingers are just parallel to each other on the fretboard. You know, like I don't know. I think I don't know, right? That thing basically just do the two frets here. The two frets, right? Like that. You see that? But what you go with what Michael and Mick do is they take that is when you move up here to the seventh fret on the uh, A string, is they convert it like this, right? So instead of your, instead of your uh, two fingers, these two fingers, instead of them being on the uh, A string and the D string, like this, on the seventh fret, you would take the seventh fret on the A string and the sixth fret of the D string here, like this. Let me see if I can show you. And you could do that also for the. You can move your move the uh, the fret here back one on the D string. You can get like that. So. I don't know if I'm doing this very well, but it's basically what it is. You just take your... Alright, 7th fret for the first one. It's 7th on the A and 6th on the D. And then this, the other one is 7th on the A and 5th on the D. That's basically it. Just yeah, just try that. Let me see if I could uh, just do an example of that, a Cabrera example, just using those three, the three methods that we already went, went over, went over. Fuck. I gotta switch up my accent sometimes, just so I can talk. Talking's rough. But yeah, just. basically it I mean I would maybe re-record this some other time just to make this clear but for now I think this just works as it is so yeah we'll just leave it at that so yeah thanks for watching uh, like comment subscribe it feels a little weird saying that but fuck it see ya